lit heads here we are the first episode in season three i appreciate all you guys has been rocking with me all this time yeah i take breaks from here and there because i don't want things to get monotonous and i'm always trying to improve my craft and i'm always trying new things so in this episode i really want to talk to you guys about a swiss army knife type of a tool now the a7 III and the sony fx3 they both have picture profiles right and so for me that's almost like having a Swiss Army knife. You have these tools of convenience at your fingertips when you need them. You never know when you have an idea, when you wanna actually shoot in different looks, and these looks will bake in for you, right? For quick turnaround and post. This profile is one you wanna have at your disposal when you want it. Now, of course, me, I like to shoot with crushed blacks. I like the popping colors. That's just my style. Now, it might not fit everybody's style and everybody wants to shoot differently and have their own ideas. I get that. But here, you have the ability to put this in your camera so that you have it when you want it. And if you have a certain idea and you want this particular look, all you gotta do is call up that picture profile and start shooting. As you guys can see in the opening montage, this is the picture profile I'm talking about, right? It is crushed blacks, popping colors, and I'm actually using the case clip-in filter in broad daylight. That's why I'm able to get that depth of field. But I think I'm gonna make a separate video about that. Matter of fact, I got some really nice videos lined up for you guys. And let's stay on topic with this one. We're talking about the picture profile. I'm gonna call it Crush. I made a video about this particular picture profile settings a while ago. And when I made that video, I never really stopped to think that I have been critiquing and, you know, fine tuning this particular look. I had a certain vid head go ahead and try those particular settings and he was working on a wedding and I didn't realize the contrast was still so high. I didn't realize that I didn't, you know what I'm saying, pretty much fine tune those settings. So that's why I really wanted to do this particular video. I wanna give you the fine tune settings for this picture profile. Okay, so let's get started. I normally use picture profile two. A black level is negative 10. Then we go down to gamma. I'm going to use movie. I like the movie setting here. Then we're going to go down to black gamma. Then range is wide. Then we're going to level is negative one. Okay. If I'm going too fast, you guys can always go back. So we're going to go to knee and we're going to go to mode manual. Then we go down to manual set. Then point is 100%, slope is zero. So we're gonna go back out. Let's go down to color mode. I'm using ITU 709 matrix. Then saturation is plus two. Color phase is negative one. Going to color depth, red is negative one. Green is negative four. Blue is zero. Cyan is plus one, magenta is plus one, and yellow is negative four. All right, so we're gonna come back out and go down and detail. I put detail on zero for quick turnaround, but if I'm actually doing some post editing, I'll put it at negative seven. So now you have the settings. This is a one picture profile that I've been using pretty much across the board. Now, when I got the A7S III, I got it for the uh, ProRes raw capabilities and those type of things, but that's been so finicky for me. I use a Windows machine and sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. Right now, it's not even working. I'm not even sweating about that because right now I'm not even trying to go after uh, ProRes RAW or anything like that. I'm actually looking forward to getting my colors right in camera so that when I get to post editing, I have flawless and quick turnaround projects, right, for my clients. And so I found that this particular profile I have been using almost pretty much on everything except for the things I have a special look for, right? I use them on commercials. I've used it um, on a TV show that I was working on. I used it in all my little projects and things like that because I love the high contrast, I love the popping colors, and I love the mood that it sends, and it's just my style. Now, it might not be your style. It might not be something that you your go-to or all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to weddings and things like that, 
this particular picture profile really sets it off for me. And so it gives me that look that I'm actually going for. So when I'm shooting, I'm shooting with regards to this picture profile, right? And so, man, I just wanted to give this to you guys. I want you guys to be able to have this in your arsenal of weapons or tools so you can call this thing up whenever you want to, right? I just wanted to make sure I touched base with you guys. I haven't seen you guys in so long because I took a big break, right? I was busy with all this different stuff, COVID, all these different things, you know what I'm saying? Life happens. And so right now I'm about to set up more videos for you guys because I got more interesting things coming your way. You know me, I'm Aaron Jones, I'm your big brother and I got your back. I'm all about faith, family and filmmaking. If you're all right with that, go ahead and hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bells, that way you're notified every time I come out with another video. And I'm telling you, I'm coming up with more videos, more interesting things that I believe might be a good topic for us to discuss and hopefully I might be able to put you up on a little something or another, you know what I mean? On this channel, Iron Shop is Iron and we all taking our skill to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.